This year's Europe Day will be anchored in our memories and in our lives forever. The unparalleled crisis we are going through has been testing our European way of life, but not the principles nor the values that underpin it. Now, we are finally beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel. In this new reality, the starting point will be to make our economies, our societies and our way of life more resilient and more cohesive. This will require a robust collective European response, and we are determined to deliver it. The epicenter of our unparalleled efforts will be in our member states, our people and our businesses who have suffered so much. Jumpstarting our economies is our new indispensable and decisive mission in this Europe Day of May 2020. This same urgency to act applies also to our democracies. We can only face up to this challenge by bringing our societies and democracies closer together, not by sowing division. Our attachment to the rule of law, fundamental rights and freedoms will not be challenged under these difficult circumstances. This year we are also celebrating the 70th anniversary of both the Schuman Declaration and the European Convention on Human Rights. In the context of the well-known and stated objective of the European Union to accede to the European Convention on Human Rights, this double anniversary is even more significant and provides yet another opportunity to reflect on the proximity of our two institutions, our ambitions and purposes in a changing and increasingly troubled and uncertain world. This crisis has proven that unity, coordination and cooperation should become the rule, not the exception. When unity prevails, nothing can defeat us. We, all of us, will come out of this stronger and more resilient as Europeans.